Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Friday night. Uh, it's about half seven. I thought I'd pull this Chinese joint that we're in. It needs a bit of work done, but there's a few issues I don't like with it, but I'll go through it. As it's Friday night, I'm gonna have a bottle of Peroni instead of Foster's. I'll be lying if I see a it's my first bottle of light. Might be the fifth. <laughs> well, I just thought it's been a hard week. Well, it's been a hard three weeks at work. That's why there hasn't been much on the channel. But I've got next week off. I'm at work tomorrow, Saturday. Then after that, I should have a full week off. So we'll get a load of videos done. Wait, what needs doing? This Chinese Juniper I bought from Corin Thompson from Greenwood Studios. I think it was about uh, a year, a year and a half ago. It cost us £75. It come in a black pot. I really put it in the terracotta pot. I put a little bit of branch placement in and took off what I didn't want. But looking at it now, I think I'll get rid of them two bottom branches. I'll bring you in and explain that a lot better. But it does need doing now. As it's just grown and over tearing now. So what I'll do is I'll bring you in, give you a look at it, and I'll show you what I, I think needs to go. So we're looking at the tray here, we've got this branch here, which is a nice branch, but I think it's too low for the tree. What I might do is just clean it off, the same as this one, take everything what's grown down off, everything what's grown straight up off. Uh, we've got this big long branch at the back, this one at the front, the little one which I'm going to remove either that or that. But I'm going to wire it and see if I can bend it because it's too long now for the tree. So I'll see if I can bend it backwards and wire it in and create the pad. And it's too straight there. And the other fault with this branch is it's nearly coming from an inside curve because we've got the curve and the tree there and there's branches here. So I was thinking about if we remove them two branches and create the tree out the top bit, then we can see the movement of the trunk. So what I'll do is I'll clean it up. I might even wire it, then remove these if I need to. The other, the other thing is I've got one, one there and one there coming out the same junction basically but if I remove these two I can put that one in the back and that one in the side so that would give us depth and it would hide this one coming out from the same junction but I'm still debating to remove these two I don't know whether to remove them now I'll wire them first, then remove them. The only problem I've got is I'm going to use copper wire on this tree. So if I copper wire all that, then remove them, it's going to be a few quid. And the other problem is I've got this high root at the back here, which I'm going to have a look later on when we it and get shot of it. So, we've got a few decisions to make, but I'll do that. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just looking at the branches, like all these here. You lift the branches up, you can see all these growing down. I'm just gonna remove them straight off. This branch, which I'm gonna remove, I think. I don't know whether to remove that or that. And if I create a pad out of that, 
that can come in over the top. No, I want to tear that off. In fact, I want to tear the full branch off. That's it, looks better now. You can see the movement of the tree. I'm still debating about this one. Because by the time you put some movement into it and bring it back in the end, it's going to look crap. So, be cut, hey boys? Gone. So, basically, I've took £30 off the tree. <laughs> what I'm going to do now is just lift the branches up, have a look for anything growing down, take it off. Same as that. There's one growing straight up, so I'll take them off. So I'm just going to work through the tree, cleaning it out. Then I'm going to add some wire onto the tree. So I've cleaned out pretty much what I want on these branches. It does look better with them two removed. I'll put it back on the whiteboard so you can see it better in a second. I didn't mind wiring, it's taking it up what I did. But this is the tree for now. As you can see here, that's the apex, back branch. But it's going too forward, so we need to lift it up a bit. And uh, just start and create the apex out of this top. But like I say, I'll do that once I get the wire on. This is how much has come off it already, and the tree looks no different. I would make cuttings out of these, but like I say, it's the 1st of September, and we've got no heat, and they let me build a fortune now, so I'm not putting them in the heated bed. It's a shame, because that, that's a nice tree in there. What I'll do is I'll just scrape the bark, root and powder, stick them in the ground. If they work, they work. And they don't, they don't. I'm just having a look, see if there's anything I missed. As it is a half decent tree, I'm going to use copper wire. Here we are with copper. It's like a nick. It doesn't bend like Ollie. And all I'm doing now is just having a quick look to see where I can put the branches. The only problem I've got is the apex. But if I wire all these, I'm going to address the issue with the apex later on. I'll just speed this up and put some music on. I'll not record it all. I'll do about a minute or two and just speed it up. And we'll come back when it's wired. Cheers, folks. See you in a bit. Okay, I've getting all the wire on the tree. I hear working with copper. It's a bit harder to put on an aluminium. I'll just give you a little quick spin of it. As you can see, the branches are too straight. And 
no movement in them. So what we'll do is we'll add a bit of shape into the tree and we'll see what we can. We can cut that off there, it doesn't look that bad. <laughs> but that's the way I wired it and the way it turned out. So it's time to add some shape into the tree. So I have a selection of tools down there, my gym pliers, wire cutters and everything. What I want to do is start with this first branch, because as you can see it's just straight. So I need to add some movement into it. So I want to bend it backwards and forwards. Move them ones up the way. try and create some sort of pad out the foliage and we'll just cut off what's sticking down So once that starts to fill out, we'll have a nice pad and we'll put movement into the branch instead of straight out. I want to go to this back branch now. Well, that's our first branch. That's the welcome branch. Same principle, movement into the branch because you don't want them too straight. Turn it round the back a bit. Yeah. So that's the first two done. This has got a bit of handlebar going on. So I'm just double checking it to make sure it looks okay. Because once they set, they'll be set for good. What I'm going to do is work onto this left hand side now. As you can see, it's straight. This one I want to bring forward, back, then around. So it's got moment we need to create movement in the branches we don't just want them shooting off looking like a nick this one i want to take the opposite direction but i want to bring it in a little bit close so we can try and create a pad out of these three branches which is on here because I've got a top one coming off which I can create depth with so that's created that pad there I want to let these grow, then we can get extensions to make it a lot better, a lot fuller, I should say, not better. I'm just pruning it off underneath to get it nice and flat. Any new growth, I'm just going to pinch. This will help encourage back button. Like I said, this is, when I first got rid of Corin Thomason, it was in a black pot. I did do a little bit, really putting a bit shaping on it. So this is the second shaping 
you would like to call it that. That's if it makes a tray. <laughs> I'm just going to bend all these up out of the way. So we can start and see where we're going. This one needs to come round into here. So I'm just going to put some movement in it. The copper's a bit hard, right? I've got the GoPro up there, just in case I put a picture in picture for you, in case you wanted to see. And then a bit further around. New growth, pinch off. Anything grown down, I'm just gonna take off with the scissors. As we keep pinching over the next few years, we'll start and get a fuller tree. So where's the next one? We'll go up to this one. I need to bend everything up. I should go to this one. We'll go to this one. That one needs to go around into there. And this one needs to come down into there. So as you can see as we're going up the tree we're starting to step the pads in just to get our chronicle shape which it's a long way away from being a finished bonsai anyways and if we need to tweak the bottom branches we can already see before I do that last branch the back branch that's grown down so that can come off okay so we we'll have this back branch now like I said it's too straight so I want to take that way back round and round again about there so it's stepping the pads as we go around the trail and anything growing down just lob it off with the scissors this is how the Toyogawa started off just by the Playing about doing the first styling on the tray. It took us four years to get that tray to where it is today. So we have a couple of branches left. Wait, one branch left. Then we need to create an apex. This looks a bit long for me. But what I don't want to do is cut all this foliage off and have a die back you need to lay grain on a juniper till the back buds then you can cut back or in theory if you couldn't cut back a twig because if you just lob the ends off it'll just brown so we're down to this back branch which we have loads on to play with but like I say again it's too straight I've got some thick copper wire on this I want to use the gym pliers to give us a hand to put a bit of shape into it. So 
Probably got to be to prone it off. I'm trying to get it so you can see what I'm doing on both cameras. What I'm aiming for here is to try and start to build it up so we can create an apex so we can fill it out a bit. We're not protruding the next branch down so we're okay in there. We're just throwing it underneath. So it's still coming in on each side. Oh look at the front, it's starting to build up that way. So now the hardest part of any bonsai is an apex. Which I want to have a tab, a little bit thing. <laughs> then I'll come back and try the apex. So it's time to create the apex. I want to get a bit better height on the side so I can see it. So for, for the apex, we've got all these little bits here. <coughs> I need to try and create a dome. These will fill out in time, as you know. Doing it was a lot of hard work because you've got to keep pinching and trying. Sorry if my arm gets in the way. Excuses.
open up there. I'd say something like that, just to start the slide with the bottoms up. Once all these pads fill out, I think it will look pretty good. Like I said, it was £75 from Common Thompson at uh, Greenwood Bonsai Studios. If you check out his website, I'm sure you'll have a load more on. And you can have a go yourself. You don't have to use copper wire, obviously. You can use aluminium, as it's just a training tree. Like bonsai in training, I should say. But for £75, and you like to have a bit player, it's worth getting over the currents and get yourself a one just to have a bit player and see what you can make. But other than that, I think it's turned out well. Hardest part of this project was the wiring. It's like I see a cop was a lot harder to put on. Wouldn't mind. It's done for now. I'll just give you a little bit turn and have a look at it. You can see all the movement in the trees. The heads coming towards us, which the apex should do. Doesn't go backwards, it always comes towards you. But it's only just to start off. Once these pads start filling in, getting a cut, it should look well. As you can see, there's a fair amount come off this tree. There was the two big branches, which I could create cuttings out of. I'm just going to plant them, save the work. If they work, they work. They don't, they don't. But it's Chinese juniper. I might even put them on some heat, just to tell the wife. <laughs> okay, that's it for this video on this Chinese juniper. I'm quite happy with the way it's turned out. Like I say, is now all it's got is a, a few years growth, pinching, pruning, and trying to get it back wooden and filling the pads in. It's been a warm day in the northeast of the year, it was up at about 24 25. So I've had to water all the trees, but I've got my granddaughter to do it. She's been helping her granddad. I might put a little short on with her doing the trees because she watches her granddad on YouTube. And she'll see herself or I'll stick it in the video somewhere but that's it for this one if you like it please give it a thumbs up and as always thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one ta-da folks <laughs>